Maluzzi struggling with getting his first rep. Now remember, this isn't a conventional deadlift. There's a fulcrum on the back of this apparatus, which typically makes this easier because you can lean back into it. But Maluzzi tapping Second. out with Maluzzi. zero reps. Reminds me of the old Mike Tyson line, Aaron. Everybody's got a plan until you get punched in the face, and that is the reality in these events. And 825 pounds of Monster Jam Speedsters will give you all the smack you want. So Maluzzi, tough sledding Raphael in this event. Gordzillic. Raphael Gordzillic representing Germany. He's the co-leader in this group, number one, after two events. Gordzillic participated in NFL Europe and was in the training camp for the Rhine Fire. He liked throwing people to the ground and said that the NFL camps prepared him for everything, including World's Strongest Man. He's looking pretty good here through two reps. First timer putting up a pretty good fight here. Trying to get one step closer to the World's Strongest Man final. You'll notice many of the athletes go barefoot and have those tighter bases. That actually brings the bar closer to their body by making them effectively shorter. Gordzillic through four reps looking pretty strong. You'll see that he starts to lean back into the weight almost resting. That's one of the things that this apparatus allows for in this non-conventional deadlift. He didn't get credit there, and he taps out. So four reps will be the number for the German Gordzillic. Well, Gordzillic setting the bar with four reps due to a very nice coordinated movement of his hips and his shoulders to take the early lead in this event. Representing the United States, Rob. Up next, Kearney. the American Rob Kearney. He's in fourth after two events, looking for a big showing here. He's had a big showing so far. He's looked pretty strong. I think pound for pound, he's kind of built like a bulldog. Got that solid, compact frame. And we saw already in the Giants medley, he's got the glutes and the hams and the quads and the back strength to put on a show. And these first two look pretty solid. See how his toes are kind of flared out a little bit there. That's a slightly different technique that allows him to activate and utilize that big strength that he's got through his hips and girdle. Looking to move into the lead in this event. Can he get that fifth rep? He does. He locks it out. And Kearney, the American, Let's go. goes into the lead here in the deadlift. Peace, Rob, That's his husband, Joey, rooting him on. He's had a huge impact in his success. See how particular Kearney is setting his feet to get back in that position that he feels strongest. And he muscles up and gets that sixth rep. Brent, we rarely see a guy stop and continue on. Kearney showing he's still got something left in the tank. He goes to a knee, and here he's going to go after it again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we both had the same thought. <laughs> Head fake. What an effort. Six reps for the American. Representing the United States, Rob Kearney. Crowd's feeling it, too. This is a beautiful look at the technique of, quote, pushing through the heels to start the movement. Then his back starts to take over as his hips push through and lock this out. 